my first mission to the space station, 2019. I'd go out to the cupola and, and look out at the night skies. We're getting ready to transition from nighttime into day. Okay. I'd see stars. Maybe mm. once or twice I'd see a satellite. Now I go out there and I, you know, six years later, and every time we're coming up wow. over the horizon, I'm seeing hundreds of satellites crossing in front of us. What does it feel like to look outside the cupola and see hundreds of satellites all the time? Um, it makes me feel very thankful that there are Space Force guardians around the globe tracking all of that <laughs> and keeping me safe, keeping my crew safe, and yeah. making sure we come home. Absolutely, yeah. because I mean, even a tiny fleck of paint traveling at 17,500 miles an hour can really damage the space station, Absolutely. which puts your life at risk. NASA can't do its mission without what the mm -hmm. Space Force does. Every week they're telling us about things that are getting close to the station, and then maybe once a month we actually move the station out of the way. Now you're a Brigadier General. Mm -hmm. What does your day-to-day -day look like? I'm active duty mm -hmm. Space Force, but I'm serving as a NASA astronaut as part of like a long legacy okay. of, of active duty military that have been part of the astronaut, uh, astronaut corps all the way back to the beginning. Mm -hmm. What would you say if you just met somebody random and they were like, what's the US Space Force? Now, ultimately, the Space Force is defined by guardians. The guardians are the members of the Space Force. And you can throw out examples mm -hmm. like GPS and financial transactions uh, and emergency first responders get to locations faster. Um, they provide missile defense. They do all of these things that if, if they're doing their job, the average American doesn't know about it. Guardians are few, and every guardian has a huge impact. 